Mara here, and in this video, I'm gonna cover the best alternatives to CapCut. As you may have heard, CapCut, which has been the go-to video editing app for millions, is facing a ban in the US. And if you've been using CapCut as your video editor and you're worried about what comes next, don't panic. There are plenty of other and better video editing options out there. I'm gonna dive into some of the best alternatives for CapCut while considering things like price, ease of use, and feature set. All right, let's dive in. First up, you guessed it, we have the Captions app. If you want an editing app that's just as easy and in fact, even easier to use than CapCut, Captions is your best bet. Available on desktop, iOS, and Android, and with a free tier coming soon, Captions is one of the most accessible apps out there. It offers an entire suite of AI-powered tools designed to simplify editing for creators. It's beginner-friendly, and you'll be able to create high-quality videos in just a few minutes. With captions, you can generate subtitles automatically, add sound effects, voiceovers, music, and media at the tap of a button. Captions also offers more advanced monthly plans starting at just a few dollars a month, which include more generative AI features like AI avatars, AI video generation, video dubbing, and more. Captions is great for editing short form content, ideal for YouTube shorts, TikTok reels, and Snapchat. If you want simplicity and smart AI tools, Captions is a solid upgrade from CapCut. Next on the list, a classic, DaVinci Resolve. Designed for skilled video editing pros, DaVinci Resolve is feature-packed and great for creating premium and professional videos. It's certainly not as simple to use as CapCut, but if you want precise control over things like color grading, tools for editing 3D projects, and things to edit and create professional audio, DaVinci Resolve is worth the learning curve. However, I will say a slight disclaimer, DaVinci Resolve is not available on iOS or Android. It's only available for desktop and iPod devices, so I would say DaVinci is better for long form movie content rather than short form videos for social media. There is also a free version of the app, but if you're looking to get more advanced, you will have to be prepared for a steep price tag at $295. Moving on to our third option, Adobe Premiere Pro. If you want an industry standard editor, Premiere Pro is the go-to for YouTubers, filmmakers, and professional editors. While offering things like animated titles, motion graphics, and complex video editing timelines, Premiere is great for editing films, long form, and professional videos. It is more complex and costs about $20 a month, not as user-friendly for beginners. But if you need advanced features and you want seamless integration with Photoshop or After Effects, Premiere is worth it. There is also a mobile app called Adobe Premiere Rush if you prefer editing on your phone, but Adobe Premiere Pro itself is only available on desktop. Last up for our Apple users, there's iMovie. It's free, simple, and comes pre-installed on your iPhone or your Mac. However, not available on Android. If you're in the market for making casual edits and need something intuitive, iMovie is a great option. I would just keep in mind it's pretty basic compared to the other options I've already mentioned. But if you're looking to make simple videos, iMovie is great for really basic editing, like cropping and rotating, adjusting the timeline, and even adding in filters. It can be a really useful starting place if you're brand new to video editing and have access to a Mac or iPhone. Whether you're looking for a free, easy to use, and intuitive editor like Captions, the pro tools of DaVinci Resolve and Premiere Pro, or at the basics of iMovie, you don't have to let the CapCut band get in the way of your content creation or your creativity. You have plenty of great video editing options to choose from. Which app do you think you'll be trying? Let us know in the comments below. As always, I hope this video was helpful. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content just like this. I'll see you in the next one.